let's address this. Okay, let's address this. Susie had a big fight at Rough and Rowdy I did. in Rhode Island. I did. So looking at Susie's lost What on earth made you want to get get into boxing? This is a really funny story. Of course, every um, everything with Susie starts with I was at a hookah lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Today's podcast is brought to you by SeatGeek. Use my code NASH and get $20 off your first order. I got the intro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views. Uh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the All Good Things podcast. My guests today are good friends of mine. She just had a huge fight uh, in Rhode Island, uh, a rough and rowdy fight. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, also, uh, Susie Antonian is here today. Also, our friend <laughs> Joe Volpus is here today. What's my hype up? Your hype up. This guy <laughs> loves fried chicken. He just tied the new hot mother clucker on Ventura, yeah. and he's here to talk about and it. And he's got his own sandwich at Muffin Can Stop Us, the and chorizo. A, I have my own burrito coming out soon, too. Where? At he, Love You Latte. Bro, no, you don't. You're, yeah, the, dude. you're the biggest mukbanger on YouTube. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, right? that's not true. <laughs> There's plenty more people with way more views. <laughs> but he does like he like bro, imagine like a career where you eat and get paid for free. You know what I mean? Like like nothing is better than that. Yeah. I can't do that because even when I smell food, I get fat. <laughs> <laughs> the food could be in front of me and I'm like, no, like, oh the scale, five pounds. <laughs> me too. I feel that way too. So like I just have to just like, you know, like Courtney Kardashian when she says, I can't eat it, but how good does it taste? To feel to smell it. <laughs> That's how I feel every day of my life. Do you do you love the Kardashians? Yeah, the Kardashians are great. Is it because you guys are both Armos? No, that's funny that you call us Armos. Yeah. I've never heard like like someone who's not Armenian call us Armos. Are they full Armenian? They're just their dad was. Right? Their dad was Armenian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I love the Kardashians. The Kardashians I, are great. It's like my favorite thing to do to watch that with Charlie. I've never watched an episode. What? I've never watched an episode. <laughs> Oh my god, it's such a good I just show. think they're I think I honestly I I respect their hustle. Like yeah. those women are hustlers. Yes. Like I respect I respect how much those girls hustle. My favorite thing is to say to my ex wife who works in television, makes like highbrow television, I'll say it right in front of her, but <laughs> Kardashian's the best show on TV. <laughs> <laughs> She gets so mad. Why? <laughs> because she works really hard on like the script. The, yeah, the script and the casting actors. And yeah, like yeah, yeah, getting it through HBO. Like right now, she's doing a she's doing a series with HBO about uh -huh. like Bruce Springsteen, and like she's been trying to get it done for like ten years. Right. She's that's her like that is like her passion project. Got and it. To get to get the rights to Bruce Springsteen's music and stuff like that and to do a show like that. It's an incredible, you know, effort. It's, Meanwhile, you know, it's literally like Kim on her private jet. And, yeah, I love it. And, uh, uh, is, is, is your ex- Both uh, are good though. Is your ex-wife looking for like a comedian roughly like about five feet, five one? You know, she's an Armenian. I'm asking for a friend. I'm not asking for me. So now you're going to shift from boxing to comedy? I've always wanted to be a comedian. I've always told you this. What made you- Get oh, let's address this. Okay. Let's address this. Susie had a big fight at Rough and Rowdy I did. in Rhode Island. I did. What on earth made you want to get get into boxing? This is a really funny story. Um, of course, every 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 um everything with Susie starts with I was at a hookah lounge. <laughs> <laughs> And everything starts in the third person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Susie was at a hookah lounge. Yeah. No, so I, I was just sitting at a hookah lounge and I was with like a group of like maybe like 10 of my friends and um, my friend has been like watching me closely and like he's a manager for like, you know, like really like big guy, like big people. And then he was like, what are the odds you get in a boxing ring? And I was like, and it's crazy because I have actually wanted to get in a ring for a minute. I just never told anybody. Right. I just thought it was like so cool. Like I was like, even if like I, I, I just thought it was it's like an insane experience. Like imagine like like getting in a ring. Like that that's crazy. So I he he told me he's like, Hey, like would you be down to like ever get in a ring? And I'm like, Yeah, like why not? Yeah. Meanwhile I'm like, This is not gonna happen. Right. He's like, you know what? Let me make some calls, I'll call you in a week. He calls me a week later, he's like, You're in. I'm like, what? What? I'm, he's like, yeah. He's like, they literally want you. Um, they all uh, found out that you want to get in a fight. Like, they're all interested. Um, start training. Contracts will be sent soon. Literally, like, you're in. And, and I'm much, like- How much time did you train for? I trained for about two and a half, 
months. Yeah. Right? Like two and a half months. And how much weight did you lose? I've lost in like two and a half months, I've lost about like 17 pounds. Wow. I've lost 17 pounds. Yeah. That's a you. lot. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I started at 177 and my end weight was at 160. And how did you feel of being at 160 after that? You know what? Like, I feel insane because prior to that, I've also like lost a lot of weight. Yeah. And like people, it, you know what pisses me off? What was your is heaviest? My heaviest that I've ever been is a 210. 210. So I've lost in total, I've lost 50 pounds. Wow. What was that? Uh, about three years ago, two years ago, three yeah. years ago. It took a long time for me to lose weight. And it, it's still like, it still astonishes me that people still sit there and talk shit about me and say, oh, you're fat, you're this, you're that, you're this. Like, no man, like I'm not. Like I'm literally like <laughs> losing the weight. Like losing weight is the hardest thing that a person can do. Yeah. And like literally fighting and like losing weight, like that. that's like, I, I'm proud of myself for literally having the motivation to do it. You know, like it, it, I don't think like a lot of people would do that because yeah. it's like, it is really hard. Like yeah. literally, and you saw me like six days a week, literally training, like doing everything that I needed to do. Like the biggest regret that I do have is not picking a smaller opponent because yeah. like, I don't, I think truthfully, no matter what she says, no matter what anybody says, and this is the first time I'm actually publicly going to be speaking about it. And I ever will is like, I don't think that she was training for six weeks. Yeah. I think whenever she slid on my DMs, I think she knew what she was getting herself into. Right, right. I think she knew that she was... Well, let's, let's slow down. Let's jo slow down. Joe, so we, we watched the fight, and what was your take on it? She was, a, she was a lot bigger. Yeah, and she just... She was she went after it. She didn't... Her hands did not go down. It was just punch <laughs> after punch after punch. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy? Everybody's like... They looked at me, they're like, how do you still look good? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was worried for how you'd look the next day. But you look great. Did the punches hurt? Yo, yeah. Do the do the yeah like like yeah. Do the gloves like, soften the punch? They hurt it more. Is your eye bleeding? Yeah, I I popped the vein from the fight. Yeah. What? But yeah. you know what's funny is I went to New York the next day and people would look at me. They'll look the other way. <laughs> Did people recognize you from the fight? Yeah, a lot of people. And a lot of people saw my parents, like, at the mall and, like, out and about and stuff. And, like, they were just, like, we literally came here for you. Like, we came here for the fight, which is, like, insane that, like, you would literally drive or, like, you know, get on a plane to come watch someone fight, you know? Right. The girl was a, was a lot bigger. She was so, a lot bigger. So I was watching it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, whoa, this is a mismatch. This is not fair in any way. I know. Um. The judges I, thought I so her, too. I give her credit, you know, like she got in there too, you know, and that, and I give you a lot of credit. I mean, a lot of credit for getting in there and fighting someone so much bigger. I know. And it, did she? Was that the first time you saw her in the ring? No, I saw her um, two days before that at a weigh in or something. At a weigh in, yeah. Is that when you did the podcast? No, the podcast was the next day. And oh. did you think, oh, oh, she's a little bit bigger than I me. did, but I didn't tell anybody. Yeah. I knew, I knew she was big. Like when I looked at her, cause she DM'd me and I was like, hey, this was like in October. I was like, how much do you weigh and how tall are you? She said, I'm roughly five, 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 six, and I weigh 172 pounds. Right. I was like, okay, we can work with five, five. <laughs> yeah. And then I see her in person. I'm like, girl, you are not five, five. Yeah. <laughs> and I had already signed contracts. Like, like I had already signed a contract. So I can't, you know, if I forfeit the fight, and everyone's going to be like, she's going to be like, oh, well, you know, like, I knew she was going to, uh, so I had to. How tall was she? She was at least 5'8". Oh. She was at least 5'8". Yeah. And I have, like, I'll send you these pictures, too. Like, I, yo, I look like a shrimp next to her. <laughs> On TV, right, Joe? Yeah. It was. She was towering she over was you. She was towering over you. She was like, I'm like 5'1". Five feet, five and one. I don't think of you as a small person. Yeah. Because you're so boisterous yeah and but on tv i was like oh my god little Susie looks uh, yeah. so little yeah. i know yeah i know it was uh, you took those punches too like a champ because your head just kept going back and you, never, <laughs> and you never went down everybody i, was I wanted you to go down yeah, yeah, yeah. I was okay like, stop first of all yeah. they say keep your friends close and your enemies closer what's going on hey Susie, you made me three grand that night <laughs> <laughs> joe you bet against Susie. <laughs> Yo, come on. Nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Joe, did you actually make money off of me, bro? <laughs> no. In hindsight, I wish I did. Bro, get a get a get a reservation to Nobu. So <laughs> Who would take that bet? I don't know. <laughs> Who would take three grand in that yeah, bet? Yeah, I um I wonder if people bet on the fight? Yeah, they a must lot of people, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people bet on the fight. Oh, that's like a lot of but you I know a lot of people tried like placing bets like in like there's some states that you could place bets in and there's some states that you can't. Yeah. But 
Um, I do know that a lot of people did illegally bet. Okay. Like I know that for a fact. Okay, so so take us through. So who found who? You found her. She found me. Yeah. And so, so she wanted was, to do rough and rowdy also. Yeah. So um, she. I was originally gonna fight Grace O'Malley. Grace. Yeah. But um, our weight and our heights didn't match. Right. Uh, because she was like um taller and a little bit heavier than me. So so why did it? But how did Sarah get through? If because she was taller. Because. Because I'm about five one, and like I was like she she's five five four inches is fine because four inches is about that big yeah so it's like it's fine like that's like four inches right yeah like, like roughly. six yeah but then and she says she's 172 pounds and I'm like okay like she's a shorter girl like whatever like this will be fine um yeah no she was about five eight five seven five eight big girl um <laughs> but I have no beef with her whatsoever but it's like. I didn't notice that you guys like had like a nice moment in the end. Lots of times, even even fights there was no nice moment in that the are end. the most cantankerous fights. She talks shit about me in and the at end. The, at the end, I was surprised that you guys didn't go like, "Hey, good job" or hug or something. Look what she said about me. Could have been a little more gracious. Let's, look what they said, though. Look but what I they guess said. Listen to what he said. Style. You know what he said? Yeah. He said that. Did you? Do you think would you would come back with somebody your own height, your own reach? <laughs> yeah. Not only did the judges uh, give her shit, the internet's giving her like it's like don't. I'm I'm not upset about a thing because I do give her credit for getting in the ring and sure, me as well. Too, like yeah. it takes a lot of courage it does. to get into a ring and like literally lose in front of thousands of people. Like I I was a little bit like upset, but like I wish I did fight somebody my own size. Right. Because like Will you do it again? I would if it's someone of my size. Yeah. Because I think like I could do it. I definitely think I have I have the potential. Uh -huh. But how come you didn't go down? After getting hit, hit. What, what do you would, mean? I mean, like, you just didn't go down because I don't lose. Because not that I don't lose. I'm sorry. Because I, <laughs> first off, <laughs> I don't lose. I did, first of all, I didn't want her to get that knockout bonus. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm kidding. Well, no, I'm not kidding. Um, number two, <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> because because like I just like I just like I would see her and I'll be like, bro, I need to keep going. I need to keep going. Yeah, like good. I'm like this training would have been so for nothing if I just like fall right now. Yeah. Like I need to keep going no matter if I'm gonna lose. Like I need to just keep like getting taking those punches. And three minutes in there, that the to it's a total of three minutes. Three you're minutes, fighting, yes. Right? And then, is it just an eternity? Yo, it, it, it okay. I got. I'm gonna be honest. I got beat up. Sure. I got beat the f up. Yeah. And um, like it's crazy because like everyone kept asking me, they're like, "Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay?" I'm like, "Dude, I'm fine." Like, and like it's crazy. She kept hitting my jaw. She kept hitting the side of my head. Yeah. And the only thing that was bad is like I literally had a migraine yeah. after. I had a horrible migraine and like she popped the blood vessel in my eye. But does time go by slowly? A hundred percent. Yeah. If you're getting beat up like that, yeah. constant, she doesn't stop and she doesn't even let me move. Right. Like, uh, yes, I am. But like, I kept seeing her while she was throwing those punches. I'm like, she's like, she's getting tired. And so Ilya told me at one point he was trying to coach you from the oh, side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, Suze, put your arms up. And you look down at him. And he's like, don't look at me. Yeah. And she wails you. <laughs> yeah. I I did think, like, a lot of those a lot of the time I thought I was going to get, like, knocked out. Is is it hard with, like, everyone? Can you hear anything? A hundred percent. You can? I hear, I hear, like, all I heard was, like, literally the arena's like, Suzy, come on. Suzy, come on. Yeah. Suzy, come on. Like, you know, and, like, I'm like, bro, I don't want to let you guys down but this girl's so big yeah <laughs> you know um and then right away you the, the bell rings and you come out and you probably know in the first 20 seconds that this is gonna be tough it no i saw her in the corner yeah. and i i when i first saw her i knew she was a bigger girl yeah when i first saw her i knew she was like i i knew all of that you yeah. know, like, and I'm not like, I'm not like trying to be like, oh, like I'm denying it or whatever, but uh, because I'm not, you know, but like, I, I knew she was and I knew what I was getting myself into. And 
you know, it, it, it sucks that like she was so much taller because she did. She, I saw her after the fight. I you saw did. her after the fight. Yeah. And I, um, what'd you say? She was like, it, it was, it was a good fight, blah, blah, blah. And I was literally right on her chest. Yeah. She was so, she was a tall girl. Yeah, Not yeah. only was she tall, she was like, she wasn't thick, but like she was like, you know, like yeah, athletic. A hundred percent, she was athletic. Yeah, you could tell she was athletic. You can yeah. tell. I can tell yeah. she was athletic. She had big shoulders, yeah. big arms. Yeah. Like she went like that on my like, Jesus muscle, and. And she, what was said after the fight? Where did you see her in the locker room? I saw her in my locker room. Yeah, and she was like, "Hey, um, good fight, whatever." And I'm like, "Dude, five minutes ago you were talking shit about me on on camera, and now yeah. you're behind the scenes like trying to be nice." Yeah, like that's not how it works. Well, I guess some of that is theater, and yeah, but like, you know. but like, had I won, had I won, I would have literally like fucking. Put her around my arm. I'll be like, "Yo, it's a good fight. Right. Good That's shit true. that like I you, I, good shit that you literally got in the ring because it's like as like I think it's a little bit different for like girls to get in the ring. Like I, I applaud, like I applaud people who get into that ring. No matter what you are, no matter what size you are, no matter who you are, like getting in that ring is scary. Working, I've been thinking about this for like the past week. And working as a team, like in like, you know, like a basketball game, a soccer game, like like a football game, whatever it is, is a lot different than a one on one game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like and I think that one of the only things like is like UFC, like, you know, WWE, like boxing, like one on one is insane. Like fighting somebody else. WWE is fake, you know. Is it? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> is it? It's set up. Yours? <laughs> Wrestling, it's it's set up. It's, it's Hulkamania. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Nice. <laughs> okay, but go ahead. It's no, it's just like getting in that ring is like crazy, yeah, bro. Getting beat up. Oh, the worst. When like, you lost, you found out you lost. Yeah. They wave her hand up. You go out. Crowd's going nuts. You're processing everything, and the person's asking you questions. Is it hard to even respond? Yeah, because you got you got like quiet, which yeah. is like. I was just want to know what was going through your head at that time. I, I was just like, my brain was blank. I was like, I knew it. And like, it was a little bit of anger too, because like her team kept recording me every second. Yeah. And I was like, if I'm going to be talking, like if I'm going to be talking in front of a camera right now, turn your camera off. Yeah. And like, they were just like laughing in my face. Yeah. And that's like not nice. Yeah. Like you're laughing at a person's face. Like you're laughing at like, it's like, it's like, like, you know, like T Grizzly song, they're preying on my downfall. You know? Yeah. 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 Well, they, they said that they asked you, they go, what did you, did you think you won the, she won the fight? And you were like, no, no, I thought I won. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. They asked me if it was a fair fight. Oh, is that what they said? They, they're like, do you think it was a fair, I have the video. They're like, do you think it was a fair fight? And I was like, no, it was not a fair fight. Uh, and it, I'm not the only one who thought that. Thousands of people have literally sent me messages. Yeah. Um, literally, the judges literally said, this uh, This is not a fair fight this point of the night. They literally said that. Like, I have a video. I have. Do you eat before the fight or are you going on? Five stomach? hours before. Five hours before? Yeah. Would you Look. eat? Caleb, try to get both of them. We'll start with Susie. We'll start with Susie here. Hold up. Really, and that was also, I just want to say, unfair of whoever put that fight together to have it be Sarah and Susie to Dave's brain. And very, the red very blue unfair. Mixer. Very unfair at this point of the night. Yeah. And Susie Yeah, good on them for calling it like Barstool that. Barstool Big Cat was really, and I'm going to send a thank you email, uh, not email. I'm going to send him a DM and I'm going to say like thank you for like having my back. Like he was right. It was not. A, it was not fair. Yeah. It did, wasn't. Did anyone cool reach out after the fight? Um, yeah, a lot of people like, oh, yo, my phone was blowing up. You guys Drake. were like, no, bro. Oh, God, oh, Drake no. Drake didn't reach out? Drake didn't reach out, Drake. but like. Well, he definitely watched it. I saw him on his story. Oh, yeah, he, I yeah. saw it on his story, too. It was weird. <laughs> and he like, he like, he like literally tagged like Barstool. I'm like, bro, you were there. Right. Like, why don't you just DM me? Would you rather marry Drake or Jack Harlow? Drake. Really? 100%. Okay. Fuck, yeah. Mary kill, Drake, <laughs> Jack Harlow, Jason Nash. <laughs> No pressure. I'm getting killed. <laughs> <laughs> the, okay, Jason has a girlfriend, so I can't answer that. That's for, that's like that's like that's so literally boundaries. No, that's boundaries. M is someone else besides Jason? Ilya. No, that's a hard one. Someone else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have a crush on Ilya? No, I don't have a crush on Ilya. Uh, uh, 
You're gonna. What are you gonna do? Clip this and post it on the internet? No, I don't have a crush on him. What? I have a crush on Drake. You do? Yeah, Drake is. Bro, everybody has a crush on Drake. F. Mary Kill, Drake, Jack Harlow, um, um, Fifty Cent. Yeah, Fifty Cent. Oh, oh you love Fifty Cent. Fuck. Okay. Um, Mary Drake. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Jack Harlow. Uh, <gasps> I know, I know. Wow. My, my boy 50 gotta go. Jeez. Bro, come on. It's Jack Harlow. I, I would never, ever say to kill 50. That's a dangerous place to go. <laughs> Fine. I'll, I can't, I can't he's, kill he's Jack much, Harlow. He's much t- <laughs> I can't kill Drake. <laughs> he's much tougher than those guys, though. Yeah, you're right. He's from New York. Yeah. New York. Uh, New York. Are All you from right. New York even? All right. We're, Puffer um, jacket? And, and so, and then t- talk about, yeah, like your training with Ilya. Do you have any funny stories from that? Like, you, oh, you yeah. Were with him, you've been with you know him what's every fu- day. You know what's funny is Ilya will text me, like, when we first started. Ilya texts me every day, like, just to confirm. He's like, see you at five, see you at four, see yeah. you at this. And I outed it one time. I'm like, Il, why do you keep telling me, see you at this time? Do you think I'm not going to come? <laughs> like, what's going on, bro? Do you think I'm not going to be there? Yeah. And he starts dying. He's like, yeah, I do. I don't yeah. think you're, and I'm like, bro, I want to be there. Like, <laughs> that's really funny. What did you learn overall from being in a boxing fight in front of all those people? Uh, fight the smaller opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have done anything differently other than pick a different opponent? Um, I, I would have. If prior to the fight, what I would have done differently is I would have, I should have, I would have rented out like a boxing place and like had like literally in public just had people go there just so I can like, like just people chanting my name and like getting in that ring and having a referee and like doing that a few times. Yeah. Fighting in front of somebody. Fighting in front of no, like, like hundreds of people. Yeah. Why? Why? It changes that much with the hundreds of people there, the thousands of people there. I mean, it does change it, but like, um, you, you, it, it doesn't change it a lot, but it does like seeing someone, bro, you're finding another human and I'm not a fighter. Like I don't, I don't, I don't want to beat someone up. Like I just don't want to do that. Yeah. You know, like I'm like, let's just talk about this. Like we can uh, like, so you can solve this. But she blacked out. She was just knocking me out. Like, yeah. oh, and, um, I, I would have like, I, I think what I would have done differently is just keep punching and like finding a smaller opponent for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Finding someone like smaller, like. That's my a, height. That was a crazy event too. It was like very um, rowdy. No, it's called <laughs> rough and rowdy. <laughs> I've never seen one before. It was so cool to watch. Yeah, it was cool to watch. Did you see the ring card girls? Yeah, what they look. Oh, the ring card girls. Insane. <laughs> Do you know the ring card girls actually? Literally, a group of the girls walked up to me in the back and they're like, "Susie, girl, we're rooting for you." Oh, and nice. I'm like, I'm like, really? I'm like, thank you, girls. And then like they literally all gave me a hug. They're like, oh. "We want you to win." And That's then, like, nice. after whenever I lost, they're like, you know what, Susie? Like, she was a lot bigger than you. It's fine. Like, don't even worry about it. Like, it's okay. Like, it happens. It's good. Um, I'm just happy I didn't get knocked out. And then the next day, what, what we wake up, and how do you feel? Are you hurt? Well, I was up to, like, 4 or 5 in the morning. We went to IHOP after. You went to IHOP? <laughs> yeah, I had, like, everyone, like, literally everybody was hanging out in my room. The, the, like, I had, like, everyone in my room after. That's fine. You want to see a video picture? Yeah. <laughs> look, literally, like, look at everyone in my room after. Oh. Everybody was in my room, like literally right after. That's really nice. Look, and then what'd you do uh, in New York? Did you party in New York. Yeah, actually, like you did. Yeah, um, that night in New York, like my we bought a table. You can just tell us. <laughs> we bought a table. I didn't show you guys. <laughs> so this is the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> no, no, not the Statue of Liberty, bro. Liberty. <laughs> no, it wasn't the Statue of Liberty, bro. <laughs> oh, look, look at this. We got a table. It says Happy Birthday, Susie. Oh, uh, I saw that. Yeah, French Montana. French, French Mon- was there. French Montana was there. Yeah, no French way. Montana was there. Yeah. We know him. Do you? We don't yeah, know him, Joe. We met him. We we do. We need to work on your vocabulary. We know him. We met him once. Bro, knowing someone is like going out to like lunch or dinner it's or not coffee. Knowing him, you can't say you know French I Montana. I know exhibit. You can't drive by Bradley Cooper's film shoot and say you <laughs> saw Bradley Cooper. I you did. saw the shoot. I he was there. This is what you do. You embellish too much. You really need to work on it. Why are you going after me? I, I, because you really need to work on it. You can't say you know French Montana. I can't believe you have control I'm of the trying, edit. Okay. I'm trying to keep you in reality. This is crazy. Let me, I did it to you this morning, You're remember? You're delusional. I did. How did it feel when I did it to you this morning? Oh, awful. I have the pool belt, Susie, and I told Joe, I said to Todd, I've had the belt for four days in a row, and that's because I haven't defended it four days in a row either, <laughs> and that's what you do. 
Okay. I mean, I have this. This is how we're gonna know if he knows him or not. Okay. Okay. What's French Montana's real name? Paul. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Paul. Is it? Okay, that's the easier one. There's the easier one. Wait, am I right? No, you're completely off. Oh, <laughs> what is his real name? Kareem. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, and uh, okay, there's the easier one. Where's French Montana from? Florida. Montana. <laughs> <laughs> what is his ethnicity? Huh? What's his ethnicity? What's his background? You know how I'm Armenian? Oh, he he's um. No, no, don't say. Um, it. I want to know because he keeps saying I know him. I know him. He's Colombian. I was gonna say he's like Jamaican. No, he's from Morocco. Right, uh, right. I forgot, and that's why he was partying after Morocco won. Mm. Oh, yeah. Did you talk to French that night? No, but I didn't realize he was there because I was like so drunk. Because I didn't drink in three months. Yeah. So like we literally like, oh my god, oh my god, the cops handcuffed me. What? The cops in New York handcuffed me because they were fans and they're like, Susie, I just saw, you just had a boxing match, right? And I'm like, yeah. And then I'm like, sir, uh, police officer of New York, New York PD, can you uh, handcuff me? They're like, yeah, sure. No way. They literally handcuffed me. I'll, I'll find the video and I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> if the videos are pics or it didn't happen, you know, am I right? Today's podcast is brought to you by SeatGeek. Yes, SeatGeek, uh, amazing. They've been an amazing sponsor for me. For four or five years on YouTube, they are always around. Love them so much. And uh, mostly I love them because they're an incredible company and they're an incredible app. If you need tickets to anything, if you need tickets to a concert, to a sporting event, to the theater, live theater, tis the season to go see some live theater. You just go on the SeatGeek app and download it to your phone and then uh, sign up and you can get tickets to anything in there. It's really cool. And right now, if you use my code NASH, you're going to get $20 off your first order at SeatGeek. Totally amazing. Totally awesome. We saw Harry Styles this year. We saw Tyler, the creator this year. It was a great year with SeatGeek. I saw Panic! at the Disco a couple years ago. I've seen Vampire Weekend. My kids love to go to shows, and I always use SeatGeek to get those tickets. And you can always get really good seats at a low price. And they're going to give you $20 off your first order. So go to the link in the description right now and check out SeatGeek or go to SeatGeek.com and uh, download the app. And sign up today. You will not be disappointed. And my thanks to SeatGeek for sponsoring this podcast. And so now, what's next for you, Suze? Uh, well, I'm still on the Zillow journey. I'm going to lose another... Um, I can't say how much weight I'm going to lose, but I'm going to lose weight. Um, I'm going to get myself a talent agent, and I'm going to go into acting. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> I've always wanted to be an actress. I, Bro, I would kill it in Hollywood. The Hollywoodians would love me. Are you? In, have you ever taken acting class? No, I'm going to take an acting class. You are? Yeah. I don't believe you. Why? Because <laughs> you always say you're going to and you don't. Bro, because like we've already, like, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I, I think I'm going to be great. Class is really good. I, yeah, I agree. Like you really can learn. I agree. And I think like, I, because like I'm naturally funny already. Yeah. You know, like I think like, not to toot my own horn, but I think I'm kind of funny. You were good in that short film we made. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Remember? I do remember. I mean, you were good in that. Do you think I'm funny? Yeah, you're okay. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, Joe, what's going on in your world? We th we've been talking about me this entire time. Yeah, Let's stop talking, talking about, about me. Joe, what's new, man? How's the Lightweights pod? Fucking crushing it. Great. <laughs> you guys haven't had me on for two years. We'd love what's to have about? you back. We'd love to have you back. What's that about? Why haven't you had Susie on? We had Is it because I lost? Yeah, we have Sarah coming on this Monday. <laughs> <laughs> You should book her. <laughs> we really should. That'd be funny. You should book her. She's yeah. Canadian. She's going to have to come to, like, America. What else is new with me? <laughs> Are you yeah. traveling at all? <laughs> I'm going to Maine next week. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to do in Maine? Fucking, you wanted to start a podcast together. <laughs> cool. Joe's like, we should start a podcast together. I was like, Jay, I, I think out of everyone, me and you should have started a podcast together. Yeah? We would have been insane, bro. You want to be co-host? I would love to be. I think we would be so good together. Okay. Because like I what talk. You, what would you say to Phineas? Phineas, I'll be like, bro, like your your sister Billy's insane, bro. And I know you write a lot of the music. Like, you got insane talent, my boy. But let's focus on let's focus on him, you know? Keep it all eyes on Phineas. Phineas, I wanna know what is in your life. <laughs> like, how how what made you get into it? Why did you wanna get into it? Who is Phineas? And is Phineas your real name? <laughs> and how did you get that cool Instagram handle? <laughs> well, you can look all that up and research that. Or I could ask him. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Let's talk about you, Jason Nash. Yeah. What what got you into comedy? What got you into everything? I'm gonna pretend like I'm I'm okay. I'm the host right now and you're my guest. Well, I was a overweight child. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess I like to, you know, try to be funny and stuff. It was like the only thing that I, I really liked doing. I probably enjoyed right. getting laughs, you know, mm -hmm. as a kid. I get that. I wasn't necessarily that funny, but I tried. And uh, yeah, I've always wanted to be in a comedy. That was like it's the only thing I care about. I oh, got it. It's really the only thing I'm passionate about is laughs and I respect that. Yeah. That's why we we connect so much. Yeah, it really is. I love watching um really good comedians. I love watching podcasts. Um like I love Chappelle. Oh, Chappelle's amazing. I love Kevin Hart too. Kevin Hart's great. Kevin Hart's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how how long do you think you're going to be doing mukbangs for? As long as I can. Yeah, as you're two athletes here. Ah! Susie of course was just in a major uh fight. <laughs> And then Joe, you have, you're you have your own kind of uh, competitive eating, competitive thing that you do, which is you have to eat four or five times a week. Right. Yeah. And How long can YouTube? you do it for? I can go. Honestly, I can go another ten years. I think. <laughs> How old are you? You're about twenty four. I'm four? twenty uh, twenty five next year. Yeah. Twenty five next year. Yeah. Um, we just talked about this. About what? I'm <laughs> telling the truth. Enough with your embellishing. <laughs> I can literally Google you and find out your age. You're thirty one. I am the best at pool. Within the friend group. I have the belt. You haven't defended it in four days. It's, isn't it outside in your car? Just itty weedy. Bad, bad, bad podcast. Joe. What's up, weenies? Welcome back to today's episode. We only have 25 seconds, and we're going to be interviewing Susie coming hot off her boxing fight. Susie, what was it like getting punched in the face? Uh, you know what, Teeny Weenie Joe? It what it felt horrible. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for tuning into the Teeny Weenie Podcast. This is Joe signing off. You want to do Susie's Teeny Weenie Corner? Sure. Okay. Susie Teeny Weenie Teeny Weenie Corner. Susie. Welcome back, Uncle Joe, also known as the Joe nowadays. We are back at Susie's Teeny Weeny Corner. Uh, how do you feel? What are the mukbangs looking like this week? We've got hot chicken, we've got uh, rolled ice cream, and we've got a fro. -yo. That's all we have. Thank you all for coming out and watching. Nobody gives a flying fuck Susie, about your mukbangs. Susie, when I get my own show trying food, I have a mic, I don't need yours. When I get my own show trying food all across America, guess who I'm bringing? Not you. Now, coming in, the greatest pool player of all of Southern California, Jason Nash. Jason's a four-day brother. What's up, brother? I've been sleeping with this at night. I had sex wearing the belt, bro. You got to have that stripped because you haven't defended it in four days. Whatever. You don't deserve the four title. Days. It's fine. Four days. It's fine. You have another You're title. I called you yesterday to play, and I called you two days ago to play, and you haven't defended That's it. not four. Three. This is a billiards belt between David, Todwick, Jason, and I, but the belt, whoever wins the belt, has to defend it two times in one day. And Jason has yet to defend it, but he's running around Hollywood, taking pictures with strangers, taking pictures in Paramount Pictures. I defended pictures. it. I defended it that day. I won it twice that day. Defended that was how? three days ago. What does ago. that mean, defending? Not yesterday, not the day before that, but on the third day. What does that mean, defending it? He has to play either Todd, Jason, uh, me, or David to defend the title, and he hasn't yet. Best of three. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This belt feels so good. Susan, I, you feel like your life is complete. You I die. I wear it everywhere. I was walking down the street the other day. I was just wearing it, walking down the street. And some guy walks by me and he goes, what's up, champ? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you take it when you go hiking? Yeah, I take it hiking. Got I wear, it. I wear it to bed. I sleep next to it. Got it. Um, it's, it's the best thing I've ever had. I, I don't want to give it back. And I'm telling you, Joe, this belt is coming to Boston with me for Christmas. That's When do you leave? Huh? When do you leave? I'm not telling you. <laughs> you have it's to none of your business. Today. It's none of your business. You're Come going on, to Maine. I'll show it to my mom. No. I want, I want it in Boston. I want it in Maine. Hey. I'm going to take a picture Bro, of it in front of the Bro, what is there to do in Maine? Huh? Where is Maine? Yeah, why? Where is Maine? I'm going to wear <laughs> top right of the country. Glendale Public Schools, man. 
<laughs> bro, Where I'm gonna be honest. Name? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know any any like I only know the West Coast and the East Coast. Anywhere in the middle of the country, if you put a gun to my head and say, "Where's a goddamn South Carolina?" I'm like, pull the trigger. Those are both East Coast. South Carolina and Maine are on okay, the East fine. Coast. Okay, fine. Like, um, what's a what's a what's a, a state in the what's middle up, of the country? What's, up, what's, up? what's a state in the middle of the country? Oh my god. <laughs> what's a state in the middle of the country? Oklahoma. Pull the trigger. I'm going. I'm what? going. You're going there? I No. I won't know where Oklahoma is on the map. Uh, we should probably tell Ilya to put that in the documentary, you learning the 50 states. Bro, honestly, like, I know, like, the West Coast and the East Coast. Did you know that actually Rhode Island is a small state? It's on state? the East Coast. What? Next to what? West Virginia? It's above Massachusetts. It's oh, it's top. right above Massachusetts. It's, it's, on, the, it's on the very, very, yes. very corner. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. like, it's New York... Um, Rhode Island, and then it's like the very, very, very top corner right next to Canada. Who's yep. on the $2 bill? Um, Andrew Jackson. Nope. <laughs> I don't know that. That's the $20 bill. Uh, Got it. $2 bill. Bill Clinton. Tommy <laughs> Jefferson. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Who's on the $100 bill then? Ben Franklin. Hamilton. <laughs> right? Isn't he? No. Bro, I don't look at who's on the picture. Jeff Hamilton, the guy who makes all those really cool leather jackets. Andrew Hamilton. Jeff Hamilton, the guy who makes the leather jackets. <laughs> Where are you originally from, Jersey? Why yeah. do you keep coming close to me, bro? Yeah. For the shot. He, he, you, he, he does do that. He gets, bro, like, you're he like, gets really close. You look how much room you have. Where, every, where do I have room? Every time I put my arm around it, he's like this. Do you want me on the armrest? Suze, personal space. Yeah, you, are, you are a little snuggly. No, I'm not. You are well, a little snuggly. Is what is wrong with it's the two of you? It's not If you were more attractive, it'd be okay. That's crazy. That's insane <laughs> that you come would say that to my come face come on air. Come here. Come here. What? Come here. You can come to the shot. And blame, I need to be in the shot. Yeah, you're literally in five shots. There's literally a camera, a camera there. Oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're an hour and a half in. I didn't see that one. Come on. Ask me more questions. Susie, what you what's, your, what's your least favorite thing about Joe? Uh, okay. Um, You know what my least favorite thing about Joe is? Bullshit. That we had to drive eight and a half hours from Vegas to uh, California. From, uh, did you to, ever hear about to that? LA. Did you hear about that? And then he wanted me to sleep. No. What at your house? We were in because Vegas. he didn't want to sleep at the house alone. We were in Vegas and you know, you sleep at my house. <laughs> I have my Corvette in Vegas. Yeah. And Zane, Heath, and Mariah had Susie in their car at Top Golf. And they were gonna take Susie back to LA, but I didn't want to go by myself because it's a four hour drive. And it was like ten at night. So I took Susie in my Corvette. So we're driving back to from Vegas to here. And you know me. I'm conservative of my phone battery. So I turn off the GPS. And I said, I'm like, let me, let me, let me guide. <laughs> said Su Susie took rates. Susie so took rates. I took, I, and then, and then. So we pull over at Carl's Jr. Get a nice burger. I remember that. That was a good burger. That was the best burger. That was a good burger. It was yeah. such a good burger. <laughs> Carl's Jr. is good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I never had it. Dude, Susie talked shit, uh, talked it up. And I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. I literally said, I'm like, bro, I'm like, trust me, it's a good burger. Because really? we were starving. There was nothing else open. It was a good burger. So good. It was a good burger. So we hopped back on the road. I forgot about that. That was a good burger. That was the best. Yeah. So and we then... hopped back on the road. Okay. <laughs> Miss our exit. Yeah. Neither of us recognize it. No, 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 no. You were listening to rock music. You were listening to Blink-182 when you were jamming out. <laughs> and you didn't want to. And I was like, Joe. And I kept saying, I'm like, Joe, I think we're going the wrong way. No, I'm you like, didn't say that. Why didn't you just charge the phone in the car? Because when you charge it too much, I feel like it kills your battery long term. <laughs> Joe, if if I was in Susie's shoes and you did this to me, <laughs> I might have murdered you. Yeah, you would have been living. I might have murdered you. But good thing I have my main man, Suze, okay, with so me. Okay, so then what happened? And then, and then, yeah, go on. Susie's looking around. She goes, I think my dad fishes over here. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I, we're like way past LA. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like Joe, and Joe's like, ah! and I put the volume down. I'm like, I'm like Joe, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think we're going the wrong way. <laughs> where were you at this point? Lake Elsinore. Elsinore. Oh, Lake Elsinore. Yeah. And then I'm like, we're in Lake Elsinore because I saw the outlets. I'm like, dude, my dad, because my dad always says like, oh, I'm gonna go to Lake Elsinore to right. um, fish and stuff. And I'm like. I look at him like we're. I, I think we're at Lake Elsinore, and he's like, "We're not at Lake Elsinore." Literally, the the outlet said Lake Elsinore outlets. It's also <laughs> not El Senor, El Senor. El Senor. Okay, I'm sorry it's like, about that. It's like Elsinore. Lake yeah. Elsinore. Whatever. <laughs> El Senor. El Senor. And so that's not that far from LA. Well, no, we missed our exit. It was an extra 45 minutes. Oh, okay. So no, it wasn't, it wasn't. eight hours. 
No, no, no. Oh, okay. Susie embellished that one, not me. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. No, we got home at like, we. It, it took at least like five, six hours. Yeah, we were way more tired. Right, right, yeah. right, right. And how was Vegas? Oh, like Vegas was so fun. I was like, was you like, should go. You would love it. Yeah, I'd love to go sometime. Yeah, yeah well, you've never been, huh? I gotta try it. Hey, Dude. maybe we can surprise him with a Vegas trip. Oh, that'd be so fun. Yeah. Please surprise me with a Vegas trip. And then, and then, you know what we can do is maybe we can do a mukbang while we're going there. Oh, I'd love that. Jason and then, loves and then we'll camera. miss the exit again, and then we'll, it'll take us about seven hours again to get there. Yeah. What was your first impression of me when we first met six years ago? Did you know I'd stick around this long? No. Really? No. I thought you'd be in and out. I'll be honest. I've seen you have a lot of people, like, it's like a revolving door of people that you have helping you. I'm the longest running one, you know? <laughs> Sorry, what did you guys think of me helping? when you first met me? Helping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you still helping? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What did you guys think of me when you guys first met me? <laughs> guys, one thing about Susie is she loves, she'll, she'll just come right up to you and ask you to compliment her. Was that or, funny the other day? Yeah. Do you remember the other day when I said that joke? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to tell you? Yeah. What I thought of you? When you first met me. How, we've met, we've known for each other for like oh, five, six years now too. Well, I met Jonah first and I really, yeah. I really liked Jonah Yeah. Lot. So did I. Because it was before, it was before like the, f the frustrating phase. Of yeah, 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 yeah. Before yeah, he got yeah, comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Before he got comfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jonah was just, and Jonah, because Jonah really is just a great guy and he's really funny and he's actually really caring. He, he, he pisses people off on purpose. Yeah. He, may, he pisses people off like whenever he's comfortable with them. I know. Yeah. And then I, and then I met you and I thought, oh, wow. Like Susie's the real gem. Why? I don't know. You just, Jonah was, Jonah was, I was like, oh, Jonah's like a comedian. He's like really funny. Then I met you and I was like, oh, Susie's like a real one. Yeah, I'm, I'm funny. I, I, <laughs> me That's and, not what I said. <laughs> why a real one? I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like hilarious, you know? <laughs> I'm, what do you mean? Like, oh, like a, like the real deal? Like I'll tell her how it is? You're just a real one. Yeah, I don't, I don't hold back. Someone you can count on, someone who tells it like it is. I know. So, somebody who's fun to be with, somebody who brings good energy. And I'm still single. <laughs> What's going on with that? Yeah, just, Joe and I were talking about that. Really? Yeah, yeah. we talked about it. Well, I call him before bed, and I'm like, how come Susie doesn't have a boyfriend did yet? Any, did any men approach you after the fight? Bro, a lot. Are you kidding me? A really? Lot. A lot. Good ones? Yeah. Potential candidates. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Anybody? Uh, like, what happened? Like, be material? Um, I don't know. I uh, Here's the thing with me, boys. <laughs> Are you coming out? No, man, no. <laughs> Why? What the hell? Why do you guys think I'm a lesbian? I don't, but you just said, here's the thing with me, boys. No, I... You did. You set I, it up like that. No, I... um, I don't know why I'm not in a relationship, to be honest. Like, I, I, I think I'm a great person, and I think I'm funny, and, like... I think I know why. Why? Uh, we just... It really... It really just takes the this one right person. Right. And And it's just, like... It's really hard to find. I agree. There's millions of people out there. 100%. And then the problem is, is you get, you do have a lot of people coming at you. Yeah. And then you have to spend all that time wading through them. It should be easier. There should be some process, you know, I mean, there never will be, but I wish there was some process that was just like, like, oh, Joe, we know where the, the right girl is for you. Like she's 100%. in Florida and like there was some kind of like, I don't know, website or something that could like match you. I Christian agree. Mingle, which brings us to our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet you can do well on Christian Mingle. Yeah. If you're Christian. I am Christian. Yeah. Or far I, There's a really good dating website, Farmers Only, just Farmers. That's an insurance company. No, no, no. That's oh. Farmers Insurance. There's a dating website called FarmersOnly.com. Oh, it's just Farmers? Yeah. Pretty sick. <laughs> if you ever- It's kind of fun. If anyone has a is there, farm. There, there's no Farmers in LA. Is there? Oh, here we no, go. that was- Oh, yeah, there it is. See? Single in the country. <laughs> Enter your email there, and you can find your your loved one. City folks just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> City folks, that's really funny. No Wait, can we sign up? That's actually really funny. We need someone to sign up. Ferris, sign up. Dude, I think all of these websites are fake. Like all of these off-brand ones. I'll be honest with something. Why have yeah. you tried it out? That you know? I signed up for Feet Finder. What's Feet Finder? You can sell feet pictures. Oh, Feet Finder. Yeah, to try and make money. Did you sell? Some, did you sell your pictures on there? Guess how much I made. And I've I've been waiting a, I've waited a good amount of time so that I can come back with real numbers. I knew that so if someone sold feet in the group, it would hundred percent be Joe. Hundred <laughs> percent. And I did it not on one but two sites. You know, really monetize okay. myself. Really quick, did you sell both feet or just one? Both. Got it. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> two for one deal. <laughs> two for one. Yeah, I'm not just gonna sell the left just and leave the right out. <laughs> I don't know what people are into. I made thirteen dollars. You made thirteen dollars selling feet picks. Eight dollars on one site, five dollars on another site, and that's it. How many feet did you? How many pictures of your feet? I did like six sets. I like. So you sold it, it for a dollar? No, or no, like no, a little no. over a dollar? You? No. If you were offered to have a sex tape when you were younger, now that you're 49, <laughs> in hindsight, do you think you should have done it and taken that money? No. Really? You're glad you didn't? Yeah. How come? I, what would it have gotten me? Nothing. You wouldn't make coin. Like a lot. Like. Uh, How old? How old? Yeah. like If you made it when you were like 30. But it, no, I wouldn't have known who I was when I was 30. What if you just did porn? I didn't have a career. Mm. Oh, if I just just did porn, Wait, yeah. So now I'd saying, be a washed up porn star. <laughs> Wait, with a method are you shit? saying? Are you saying if he had it when he was thirty years old and he sold it now? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying like if you the opportunity came for you to have a sex tape back then and people wanted it and you made like half a million dollars, do you think you should have done it? Oh no, definitely not because back then there wasn't the internet where like like you can go on your your OnlyFans now and make a sex tape and make a ton of money, right? But back then you wouldn't have made. You wouldn't have made a half a million dollars. No, I'm saying you would have been Kim Kardashian didn't make a half a million dollars off You would have been guaranteed it. I would have been guaranteed it? Yeah. No, I, I just, I don't know. I would be embarrassed. Well, I'm not proud of my body that way. Yeah, it's like small and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like tiny? Yeah. And Honestly, bent. Joe, at this tiny, point. But, but it's bent. It, 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 All the years of ooh, use. Yeah. By yourself. Yeah. Also, I hear a lot of porn stars, their, their dicks don't work later in life. Mm. Really? They like, they like shoot them up. Ooh. That's horrible. Um, you want to play truth or cricket? Sure. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Okay. Susie, what's the most amount of money you've ever gotten for a brand deal? Wow. Truth or cricket? Um, sh- should I say publicly how much I made on this one? Yeah. Well, don't say what the brand is, but how much was the number? Uh, The most I've ever gotten? Yeah. I mean, I'm still growing. Sure. But 25? Yeah, that's really good. For me? Yeah. You don't have to eat it. You told the truth. Okay, great. But I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I'm like, I'm like, I've been eyeing this for the past hour. <laughs> okay, ask me one. Um, what's the most money you ever made from a brand yeah. deal? One brand deal. Oh come on! Come on! Come on! You're being a pu double money sign. Why? Yeah, so pussy. Disgusting. Is it in the triple dig? Wait, don't spit it in my coffee. Wait, why do you why why didn't you give him that coffee when you got it thirty minutes ago? Yeah, why would you I only care about Joe? <laughs> Wait, what's what is it? Triple digits? The most I ever got for a brand deal? Yeah, my boy needs to think. <laughs> There's just so many, so many. Jeez, what's it like having no, over I don't, a million followers? Never, I've never gotten triple digits, I don't, but I, I did get eighty once. What? Yeah, for who? Eight. What's that the- was that was like that was when like David was like flying high and like and the vlogs were flying. Joe, what's the most you ever gotten from a brand deal? Twitter cricket. Um, twenty five. No, really? you've made more than that. No, that's not, it. Not off. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, it was a big one, but sixty. Sixty. Yeah. yeah. Nice. For what? Bleep it out. Sure. It was like a year long one. Ooh, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, that's a good one because they're like bleep it out. It's a good brand. It was, yeah, it's like on brand for me. Yeah, it's we're still up and coming, guys. Huh? It's like fifteen years later. We're still up and coming. Ask me my right now. <laughs> What's your rate now? Your rate now? Whatever got, you want to give. I got 800 for a VPN the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Times are tough, man. Times are actually Times really are changing. Tough. Wait, I have a question. What flavor cricket is this? Like, what seasoning is Ranch. it? Is it? No flavor. It's just cricket. No, no. Flavored cricket. Yeah, they do have them. Sometimes it's like sour cream and onion or like bacon, like different flavors. How many sexual partners have you ever had? Oh, no, 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 no. This, <laughs> this, this is going on the internet. Eat the cricket. No, no, don't ask me. You gotta eat the cricket. Ask me eat another question. You gotta eat the cricket. Ask eat me the another cricket. question. You have to eat the cricket. I can't publicly talk about that. Uh, ask so me eat another the question. Cricket. You gave me two. So just say one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like a bug. Are crickets? It is a bug. Are they from Maine? <laughs> Yo, dude, I love these crickets. Ask, ask him a, ask him a oh, yeah, question. You gotta try this. <laughs> ask him how many sexual no, partners. No, no, no. Ask him a truth or cricket question. Truth or, <laughs> truth or cricket? He he won't eat the cricket. Yeah, well, you he won't. I've eaten cricket. Ask before. him a question that he'll never answer. Um, ask if I've ever stolen from you. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? Ask if I've ever stolen from you. Isn't that a given that you shouldn't you steal from your friends? From <laughs> Have you given? ever stolen from me? <laughs> Give me the cricket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about, will you be getting married this year, next year? <laughs> Are you getting married next year? <laughs> uh, 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 Taste that um, popcorn. I have a oh I, have, I have a DM I need to send after oh. this podcast. To who? His uh, lady. About Say, what? I'm gonna be like, damn, she's shoddy. Gonna, she's gonna propose to him. I'm gonna be like, shoddy, you ain't getting that ring next year. Oh my god, dude, that's dry. That's what she said. That's not like a cricket I've ever had before. What kind of crickets have you had? I've had better ones. That one. Why one's are gross. you going to Maine? I'm gonna go dog sledding and. Uh, Catching fish and ice. Bro, can we talk about how you fishing. keep? Are you like, really? Yeah, it's gonna be it's sick. Really? You're fun. gonna go ice fishing? Mm-hmm. Wait, I've always wanted to go ice fishing. And dog sled, ra- dude. I have a fun life outside this little thing we do. <laughs> David, bro, take you're on literally yours. traveling every other week. Like you went to Hawaii. You went to- David's take on Joe was so funny the other day. It's yeah. funny because it is true. It was on Joe's vlog. It's a hundred. We, we were just like true. riding around in the car, but David's was so funny. He was just like, like Joe, like. I try and fly under the radar. He just flies under the radar. Like, he doesn't try that hard. Like, he takes weekends off. Like, he's a YouTuber, so he should be, like, slammed all the time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. making videos, like, doing whatever he can. Like, me. Like, I'm, like, fucking, oh, my God, I got to do this. I got to do that. I Dude, do I that. walked in. Jason's like, it's the end, man. What are <laughs> yeah. we doing this for? <laughs> and, and Joe's, like, going dog sledding. It's and he crazy. still gets views. Huh? And he still gets views. <laughs> <laughs> how much do you make off YouTube for if somebody wants to start doing YouTube for the people out there, how yeah, much do you think good. how much do you do would you suggest people because people always ask me, they're like, I want to do YouTube. Would you suggest I do it? And um how long does it take until like my views start picking up? I would give this advice. There's so many different ways to make money now that Prior, YouTube used to be the main one. It was the only one. But now, like Facebook Reels, Snapchat, YouTube Shorts, everyone else is paying. So you got to figure out something that you can place on all those different platforms. And that's what I do. So I post all the time on every other platform. And also, I'd say that the TikTok algorithm is probably the best, the easiest for somebody to like. Especially discoverability and blowing up. But even so, it's like people will be like, yeah, I just got a million views on TikTok. But it's like, okay, but... Right. What does that mean? But if like, you can if you can conquer YouTube or do well on YouTube, that's the best one. Oh, 100%. You, YouTube that is, is the, the best YouTube one. YouTube is very very hard to grow on. Incredibly. Yeah. I've been losing rapidly for the past year. <laughs> Every time I post. Do you ever think about maybe you should switch your content up? I'd love to. Do what you do you want me to do? That, do you ever think that maybe you're the problem? I 100% am the problem. It's my channel. People don't want to watch me. Do you ever think that maybe this moneymaker right here is not really the moneymaker anymore? <laughs> yeah, I realized. <laughs> I realized. You know, I was so nice to you about your boxing match. <laughs> and here you are going to roast me? Bro, I, I am an asshole to people that I love. Huh? Did you hear Jonah and Alex Ernst are starting a podcast? I know. Yeah. Alex Ernst was actually at my fight. Yeah. He, did Alex talk Ernst, to you after? I love Alex so much. I love Alex. I love him so much. He was really hurt. He was like sad that I'm like, bro, like, I've never seen Alex like that. Yeah. And like, I thought it was the sweetest thing that Alex came He's out. Him and his guy. girlfriend, like, came out, like, to the fight, like, I, it was like a, like crazy. I was like, damn, Alex Thurston is here? Ilya's like, bro, I don't even see Alex in LA. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so great that like him and his girlfriend came to the fight. That's really nice. Yeah, I, I know about them them starting the podcast. I think it's a really funny idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's really, really funny. really good together. You have a really cool podcast studio. Just why is there an amp, a guitar amp? Because we here? had Grammy and Oscar award winning artist Phineas here last week. And now you have Joe and Susie? <laughs> Bro, you you want to sit on my lap at this point? <laughs> what do you want me to do? It's Susie, a small we, couch. We, we took a mirror selfie the other day, like uh-huh. the five of us. So we were all just and like Joe's like penis was in my butt. <laughs> Bro, Bro, he keeps going like this. That is not true. <laughs> you are cuddly like that. How I told you what, to cuddle. It wasn't actually my penis. It was my finger. Don't make no. it sound gay. No, no, your finger's not that small. <laughs> <laughs> How come you don't have like Bobby Lee on? Why do you got us? We're trying to get Bobby Lee. I've tried. It's, who's, who's Bobby it's, Lee? It's too far for him to go. What other big <laughs> Jason? Look at this. Jason, what other big this. celebs Jason. have you guys reached out to to get on the All Good Things podcast that have said no? 
And we were don't want to come rock on. Said no. And were you we actually the, got a response? We got a response. And um, were we the quickest to say yes? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And also when I like moved the days, you guys were like, "That's fine." <laughs> 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 We're like anything for you, Jason. You Nash. even pushed it back today. We were yeah. like, okay. The Rock said no, Who else? but very not, was like really nice. And not only was it really nice, they said maybe sometime down the line. He responded personally. Yeah. <laughs> How do you have his contact information? Me. Oh, sick. Or his email? Uh, has what? How do you get his contact information? Um, DM. You just find out like who his publicist is. Great. Who That's else? it. Uh, Obama. Obama's on next week. Really? Yeah, yeah. After yeah. us? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you well, being I'm, serious? I'm doing Obama and Mike Sheffer. Oh, together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's smart. <laughs> That's really smart. That's a really great deal. The, the duo we didn't know what we needed. Yeah. I heard they're running together next election. <laughs> Mike is president. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he, he can't be president again. He yeah. Be vice um, president. Joe, what is your goal as a, a food reviewer? What would be the mecca for you? I know you just filmed with Exhibit. Oh, talk about that. Oh, yeah. fucking cool as shit. Really cool. How the Yo. hell did you get Exhibit? No offense. Okay, so there's this hot dog company called Dirt Dog. Yeah. Sick restaurant. They have post. They do videos with him and Flavor Flav, and I just messaged them. And I'm like, "What are the odds that I could do a video with Exhibit?" And they said, "Are you willing to drive?" I said, "Tell me a day." <laughs> so we've just been. So I turned off my GPS <laughs> and I headed to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> so they said, "Are you are you free whenever?" Jesus, she I said me. yes. And she doesn't even come in quietly. She Jess, just walks in. Just just barks. She also in. was typing a novel the other day while we were sitting here. That's to crazy. Find a now she ruins the conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's wild. Just what? Give me a second. Go on. What was I saying? About exhibit and how? Um... Oh yeah. So they gave me a date. So I drove out to Vegas and we filmed the video together. And he's the coolest fucking dude. He's so chill. Yeah. So chill. And, and he was happened? so nice, so creative. And I was I filmed three videos of him, and then we went in my car and did a mukbang together for twenty minutes. And, and like, what? What's he like? Humble as fuck. How old is he? Probably like 50. Yeah, maybe a little less than. Yeah, yeah, mid 40s. Yeah, but he was asking, answering every question I, I had. I saw the photo. He looks good. Looks great. He's getting into acting now, but he's he he was West Coast hip hop. He's yeah. the king of West Coast hip hop. He also had Pit My Ride. He was on Pit My Ride, and he said at one point he was more recognizable than the Pope <laughs> because of that show. And the show wow. blew up, and it was massive success. And he was on songs with Eminem, Dr. Dre, and he has songs with Dre that they're just in Dre's vault. Maybe they'll be released. Maybe they won't. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that what he said? Yeah, and I asked him about his lyrics Does and he stuff. he still make music? Yeah. He's doing one more album, and he has everything handwritten from Bitch Please to, um, what's the other one that he was with? Which right? Bitch please, bitch please too. Bitch please too, and <laughs> uh, there's a great one on Eminem's um, that he does. Um, Don't approach me. Smack that. Have you ever heard smack that? That's exhibits on that. I think so. No, no, oh, no that's, not. that's Akon. That's Akon. Oh, that's Akon. That's your friend. Oh, I'm yeah. friends with I love Akon. Akon. <laughs> I was Akon's in an Akon great. music video. I know. I haven't seen it yet. I'm filming a sizzle reel for a show next week. For what? For me to do a food show. No way. Yeah. For who? To, we're going to pitch it at HBO, Discovery, uh, Hulu, whoever wants it. Bro, if Joe got an HBO show. Brother. At, Jonah would lose Will you mind. still stay humble? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all of you. You know what I respect about you the most? Tell me. Um, I respect his hustle because he's like. He takes he, the weekends off. No, but yeah, but like he's a hustler, but like and he, he does not working at five. No, no, no. no. He, he hustles, does. but like he does it very subtly. He's like a subtle hustler. Subtle like he'll hustler. never, he'll never like publicly say like he's hustling. Like he'll do it like very like behind the scenes and like like nobody's. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I respect that. Yeah, Plant yeah. in the summer, harvest in the fall. You think, okay. You think you could work a little harder in your videos? Uh yeah, but I'm trying to get into acting now. Oh, you are. She's an actress, dog. Can Jonah cast you in his pilot? I actually asked him. He said And no. the producers um, and everyone they're like, we think you're hilarious, and well, well, when you're back, we'll talk about it. I think I'm really freaking funny, dude. I know you are. Like, I would kill it as a comedic actress. Yeah, you got to get in there. Why don't you take improv? I want to. I actually want to do stand-up, too. Let's do an improv test to see how okay. Susie will do on screen. Great, let's do it. Go. Okay. Jason, why don't you start? Scene? Yes, set okay. the scene. All right. Andrea is probably um, the girl who is the best at basketball. But isn't she, like, four foot three? Can she actually play basketball if she's that short? Don't you guys talk about Andrea that way. 
She's my close friend. Even her mom <laughs> talks shit on her. For sure. I literally heard the same thing that everybody was talking shit about her. Jeez, you guys are so negative. Hello. <laughs> get with the program. She's a cunt. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Isn't she supposed to be practicing basketball right now? If she's so good, why is she not here? Just just hear me out, okay? Andrea's great at basketball. Okay. Because her dad is was uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? <laughs> Lainey, you're literally lying right now. There's no way that her dad is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Would you say Lainey? Yeah. What does that mean? She said La lady. Lainey. Like I, it's just a name. It starts with L. Who's Lainey? You're Lainey. Me, me. I am. I'm Lainey. You can't just make up letters to continue the scene. You're I'm not making up letters. No. I'm making up names. Okay, fine, fine, no, fine. She, she was right. She was on L. Oh, okay. You started with K. Yeah, but who's Lainey? Me. I'm Lainey. You didn't say that. <laughs> it's improv, you idiot. You have to go with it. That doesn't make sense. I can call you Godzilla if I want. You have to go. Yes, I'm Godzilla. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh my that god. Bullshit. I can't that believe you're making your own show. That was a cheap up. That was a cheap exhibit. Out. L M. I wonder what go. exhibit thought of Joe. Hey, yeah, hey, I'd hey, love L to hear. He was a weird dude, man. Okay, go with M. Huh? M. Now I said me. M. I'm Laney. Okay, N. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you know who Laney is. How the hell did we just go from um her, how she's four foot three, Kareem Abdul's daughter, to Laney? This is about uh, the girl. Perfect. You two, just perfect. Questionable, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Like, ridiculous. You just keep doing ridiculous things that really make me shocked. Boy, this podcast used to be good. <laughs> See? <laughs> Started with a B. <laughs> um, all right, well. Who else number do I have? Hold I want to wrap this up. Number. I want to wrap up this show by saying this is our, uh, it's towards the end of the year. It's December, and uh, it's been a great year. This it was been, just my birthday. It was, uh, it was. Oh my god, I missed your birthday. It's okay. When was it? Bad friend. You didn't do anything. I, didn't, I, I, I wish her a happy I was, birthday. I was in Rhode Island. It was on Thursday. It, it was, was on Thursday. 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 Oh my god, you had to do your fight on your birthday? No, the fight was on Friday. I did my birthday. Still. I know. That's like not fun. It's not. It wasn't. But it you wasn't. got to party in, in Saturday. What what was the what was your best part of the year for you guys? Twenty twenty two. Let's look back on it. What was your favorite thing you did? What was your let's do our, our highs and lows. My highs were doing my mukbangs with my celebs, Brian Baumgartner and Exhibit, <laughs> because the recognition that I got from everybody was actually really cool. And everyone said my, that I was a great host. My highs of 2022 was in the beginning of the year when we were all traveling together. Mm. When we were all traveling together and like we would get on each other's nerves. But like, truth be told, like that was like, Honestly, like I look back and it was like some of the greatest times of my life. The trips that Joe refuses to go on. Mm -hmm. No, that Those we all we that we had a TV show. Yeah, Remember? and Joe was invited and he wouldn't go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why did, don't you go? I was on Shark Week, dude. You went Shark no because Week. you thought you were better than that us. That was enough for you. Fuck because yeah. this is exactly what David's talking about. You could have gone, dude. I fly under the radar. I don't want to get too famous. Um, yeah, you want to have a show with HBO. My high was uh, meeting Jess. <laughs> I met her a long time ago. Oh, well, w building this beautiful studio together with Jess yeah. and this business. The podcast was my high for sure. Like getting getting to do this has been really great. Getting and to know each other. I don't think Jess gets enough appreciation on this podcast. I think she does. I don't think she does. Okay. I would love to hear three of your favorite things about Jess as highlights well, from 2022. That, let's, let's have her. Maybe, Jess, if you stand, Jason will say some nice things about you. Almost like a roast, but opposite. Are you a toast. You're in the shot there, right? Yeah. Your head too? All right, here we go. This is Jess. Uh, she's here. This is the end of the year. Can you uh, see her? Um, Jess, you are very creative. One. You oh, sounds like he's struggling. Yeah, you're her, just saying adjectives. She's very creative. Um, she gives good advice. Two. And she... Uh, it's like pulling teeth out here. <laughs> Jeez, spends uh, a year with somebody, can't figure out any nice things. She's very creative. She gives good You're, advice. You said this. And she's good at planning. <sighs> Three things. Susie didn't like that one. Can you give us one more? I, didn't, I don't care. That was a great one. What about she, how fun and funny I am? <laughs> how great I am to be around. Maybe she's the backbone of Nash Nation. She's, a, she's definitely the backbone. I don't know how fun you are. 
<laughs> okay, you I, seem to be like. Even I think the I, problem with you. Oh, oh my! Is who that, starts a toast like is that? that? Even when you're having a good time, it doesn't look that way. So I know already. I'm like, she's fine. But to outwardly to people, like when we went to get the Mex, when we went to the Mexican food, it looked like you were having the worst time. <laughs> but I know you're not. Yeah. So like the guys like made, we went to make Mexican food for a video and the guys made, um, the guys made shrimp and they were like, we're going to make fish tacos. And Je Jess was like, oh, I don't like shrimp. And they were I like, love shrimp. and it was just like a little like, you're okay, okay, let's shrimp. just go with it. I, I, I only said I didn't like fish because you guys are like, are you going to try it? And I was like, oh no, I don't eat fish. Jess, where are you from originally? Uh, I was born in Arizona. I grew up in New Zealand. And then I moved back to Arizona. My beautiful girlfriend, Caitlin, said that when you were explaining your whole backstory to Danielle's mom, and then she asked about Caitlin's backstory, she's just from Calabasas, your highlights really outshined her. I'm sorry, Caitlin. I did not mean to outshine you. Why New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> because that's where she was raised. I don't know. My, now, why do you not have an accent? Uh, because my I moved there when I was eight. My parents had American accents. And so I, never, I had a kind of one but when i moved back i lost it immediately. when did you move back how old were you i was 17 so you spent about nine years at a foreign country i did and you never developed an accent well it didn't sound like i had one there because to them i still sounded american but if i look back on old videos of me i had a, a weird accent i think i think accents are really cool let, let me i love accents let me try to make this better how how do we get you to be outwardly in a better mood Okay, I feel like this has just been like a problem my whole life. Like I just like I'm not like an expressive person unless I'm drunk. I know honestly that's why I hired you because I've had many people in my life like that. Like it's just over the top. Just, like, expressive. No, no. I've had a lot of people like you. Like my ex wife is like you. Oh. Oh, like, I thought you were saying I was like better like, than the like, people in your life. Yeah, that's like what she's like. Mar Marnie's great. She's a lot of fun, but then when you, you have to like I feel open like I fun. am fun sometimes. Though. You are fun. You are I fun. I also you just, think I'm funny. I'll give you myself funny. credit. For I think that. you're funny. I think you're funny. But I've never, I've, I haven't spent enough time with you to make judgments. So you're like you're not funny. But <laughs> that's a really no, I do. Way of I that do that just like what, like really? when I'm in like an like the restaurant like there like I'm not like number one like I was filming on your Snapchat like it's not about me like the show is about you. Right, right, right. See, I'm, wow, I'm that's just respectful. I'm Very just respectful. stepping back from the spotlight. Right, right, right. We I get, love a I, queen who I, wants I to work behind the scenes. I just have to constantly remind myself that like you don't hate being around me no that's the problem i'm just very like i feel like when i'm just like working i'm just very to myself here and there though like i'll crack some jokes and depending on what we're doing like when we're eating food with joe i love eating food so that's she's very good at jo writing the roasts just speaking she of do you have a roast coming up soon yes, yes we, we do. do we have a roast saturday night uh in los angeles for roasting zane hijazi and it's take it to really link down below and it's going to be, no tickets, and it's going to be on this channel. You guys are going to be able to see it for free yeah. on this channel As a, around Christmas. Can you roast the three of us? Can you please? Can you? I, I need a roast on me, but can you roast me really quick? Dude, I, I am flying I feel high. like I just got roasted. So. Well, yeah, you got you got destroyed. I need to get knocked down a peg. I me, do. you, you want to be roasted? Yeah, and Susie and Jess. I, I just got roasted. It went from let's compliment Jess to, you know, Jess is just, just not fun to be around. Jess, um, <laughs> she just you, has uh, a resting oh. bitch face. <laughs> yeah, no, Jess is she on just fire. Has no emotion. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, she's funny. You're fine. Yeah, she's good. We wrote we wrote some Susie jokes. Really uh, in there? Yeah, we have a lot of Susie jokes. <laughs> have you ever heard Susie before she laughs? <laughs> It's like a bow, I'm a like, very, it's yeah. so funny how different Jess and I are because she's like so to herself and I'm so expressive. We're like yin and yang. Yeah. That's the thing though. Like I can be expressive, but I'm not like you're constantly like on like a hundred and I'm usually like at like three, three. and then well, I like sometimes to be alone I'll too. Spike. I love being alone and like watching like shows or movies by myself. Like, I love like I was literally on a flight alone by myself yesterday and I loved it. Same. I think I love doing that. I love, I'm very, I'm very expressive. Like I'm very, very much out there, but I love to be alone as well. I think I'm like an extroverted introvert. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so too. Guys, thank you so much for uh, coming. Uh, this that's what she been, said. This has been a lot of fun. <laughs> Susie, congratulations on the fight. Thank I, you. I'm very proud of you. Joan, I appreciate it. Thank very you. Very proud of everything you've accomplished this year. Like what? Um, uh, well, you know, you're, you're, you're you you're just a, filmed with exhibit, good, bro. You've done a lot with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. You know, you've done a real lot with nothing. You know, you appreciate like, that. You know how to stretch the dollar. 
<laughs> yeah, and we were all out on our own now, you know, without the the video. So I'm, I really admire that. And I really admire what you did, Susie, getting in the ring. Thank really you. Nice. Yeah. My um and yes, it's been a, it's been a good year. It's been a great year for all of us. And 2023 is going to be even better. Even better. I hope. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Go to the link in the description. Check out uh, SeatGeek, please. They've been incredible to us this year. Uh, and yeah, we will see you next time.